My name is Sean Cullen. I was born in Peterborough, Ontario on the 29th of August, 1965. I'm a comedian and writer and actor. Perfect Happiness is, uh, for me, I think, spending time with my son, uh, going to the train museum, uh, playing with trains, pretending to be a train, uh, talking like a train. Uh, trains must be involved for Perfect Happiness uh, for he and I. My greatest fear would be to wake up and not be working uh, and not know that I have work to do. I think that's the one thing that kind of drives me uh, is, is keeping busy. I'd probably say Charlie Chaplin because he really kind of created what film comedy is uh, today uh, and was an experimenter. Just his incredible energy. I think the thing that gives me the most satisfaction is seeing the work I've done manifested and uh, achieve what uh, the purpose that I'd set out to achieve. From my own point of view, uh, my most obvious characteristic is the most positive one probably is my ability to free associate, take a lot of different sources, meld them together into something that's cohesive and can amuse people or uh, touch people in some way. I think my son laughing is my favorite sound. If I had to listen to a sound, uh, one sound, for the rest of my life, that would probably be it. Wayne Gretzky's chicken wings, I think, are my favorite. Uh, the Wayne Gretzky, now he himself doesn't have chicken's wings, but the, at his restaurant they have chicken wings that I enjoy. Well, I guess shyness is the thing that I dislike the most about myself. To say that I'm shy is strange considering I'm a performer and the kind of performance I do, but it's one thing to be on stage and you have a persona and you live that persona and you're doing a character really and then you get off the stage and I'm kind of awkward around people. I think the thing I dislike uh, most in people is a lack of empathy for other people's problems or for other people's point of view. If you kind of looked at a problem from someone else's point of view, I think you'd understand why they have the stance they do. The thing that I probably am most obsessive and uh, therefore excessive about is food. I like to eat, but it seems so difficult to deny yourself food. Most overrated virtue, I think, in our society now uh, it's hard to describe it as a virtue, but competitiveness. I think people think, you know, you have to just rip someone's heart out to get what you want, right? And uh, I, I think that if you're doing that, it will all come back to get you. Well, I think I'd like to write a book and accomplish that because it seems like a supreme effort. That's the one thing I'd like to accomplish before I'm dead. I'd like to be a dolphin because I'm afraid of water and they seem to enjoy it and uh, they're very gregarious and they seem to have lots of friends and uh, they hop around and they can leap out of the water and shoot water out of the top of their head. And I think that would be an incredible thing to be able to do, shoot water at the top of your head and to speak underwater. That would be fantastic. I think I'll be a, a human with a little more uh, wisdom. I probably feel safest and most secure on stage when I'm being laughed at, which is uh, sounds strange, but it means that I'm doing something completely right. For me, uh, I, the depths of despair, I think, was when I find that we finally decided to separate my partner and I, and, and we, had this, we have a little boy named Hamish, and he's living away from me now. And I think that when I realized that this wasn't going to work out and that I wasn't going to be there for him every day the way I really wanted to be, and to have that kind of influence in his life on a daily basis, I was really despaired. Well, the Nobel Peace Prize would be great, but I don't see how I'm going to be up for that. But I think a writing award would probably be uh, most satisfying for me. I really have a real affinity for Winston Churchill. I think it's because he was this golden boy and then kind of went away. People forget he had a very long career before he was prime minister during wartime. And even in prime minister in wartime, he was picked just because he was the lesser of evils. Kind of like, let's give it to him because he's not going to screw it up too badly. And he stepped up and, you know, was waiting for his chance and thought everything had passed him by and came back and, and really made a huge difference to every single person. And he was a painter and he had a kind of uh, an artistic bent and he was a jolly, fat, chubby little man. Well, I mean, as far as comedy influences, I'd have to say uh, I, 
uh, Charlie Chaplin was something I discovered later. I never really had much patience for it when I because it was black and white when I was a kid. I think Monty Python probably a huge influence because of their surreal, but they're extremely intelligent. And you can only be ridiculous if you're extremely intelligent. I think Saturday Night Live, uh, Steve Martin. Uh, I loved his just ability to be foolish. Mel Brooks, certainly, all of those films were a huge influence. Like the greatest to come of all time, Dick Van Dyke. Now, television had a huge influence on me. I watched a lot of television as a kid, and I think that had a huge influence on me to, to want to do comedy. I have always wanted to be a musician, but I'm not really. I'm a singer. I sing. And I, of course, because I do that, I completely undervalue it. Uh, as I'm, I'm good at that, I, it's, not, it's not important. And that's the funny thing I think about people is, you know, I'm a concert pianist, but I really want to be a tap dancer. I, I was just in a show with all of these beautiful girls who are amazing dancers, and none of them want to dance. They all want to, you know, be um, an actor or, you know, and I'm just like, why not just enjoy the talent you've got and really make it amazing? Well, currently I'm a performer, primarily. So I guess uh, if I could be a writer as, my sec as, a, as another career, that would be fantastic. What would I hate to do? Probably accounting. It's my least uh, favorite thing to do, so I think I'd probably not like that. Or being a police officer. Well, strength is a great word, but, uh, but logistically, it's got one vowel and a number of consonants that make up, you know, their diphthongs. And that's fun. Uh, but also the word itself, it's just power. It's got a lot of power, so strength. Meanness, people being mean to each other. And I mean like ungenerous and unhelpful. My favorite thing to do to distract my attention is read. I think reading is the most important thing because it's so portable. And it's like a time machine, you know, you can read a book written by Samuel Pepys and you're in 17th century uh, England, you know. It's the closest we have to time travel. It's amazing how you can read a book and say, that's my opinion now. I completely buy into this. And that, I guess, is, that's why I love reading. So that's my, my favorite distraction. If I have a motto, it would be do it now, uh, because people put things off and then they die. Uh, so do it now, because you're alive now. Don't waste any of your time. Monkey's a funny word, and monkey, the whole idea of monkey, the playfulness, the silliness of it, the kind of primal, foolishness of monkeys. They're fun because they're like us, only a bit less wise, maybe. <laughs>